we are the second fastest in iTunes history to a million downloads. Wow. Second fastest. That is crazy. That right? is crazy. Four dudes who have no clue of a podcast and just talking. We didn't show up with the list of things we want to talk about. We just said, hey, um, man, you know what's crazy today? Yeah, cool. Boom. Go. Turn it on. <laughs> go. And wherever it went, wherever it went. And it did so well. But, you know, at one point, it became this thing where we were shock value. Who can say the craziest, weirdest thing? And that started to turn me off because at the same time, all this is happening. We're getting people reaching out to us and saying, man, you're saving my life. You changed my life. You, you know, all these things. And I was like, man, as where I'm going in my life, I like that more than I like creating this shock value BS humor in my head. Oh. It was like, you know, you wanted more of that, you know, yeah, where can I, I where can I take that? Yes. I yeah. loved it. It was yeah. more inspiring. It was, it was thrilling to hear that these weird things we were doing on camera are, are saving lives. Like, yeah. how, how do we get more of that? Cause that is fulfilling. That is, uh, that is what I need. And I felt the purpose for, and the other side of like this, you know, these, these kind of immature jokes and stuff all the time. And, and this dark humor that veterans just understand. I was like, ah, uh, I'm not really convinced anymore. And I shifted. Yeah. I just completely, my heart shifted. I also was like, uh, do my kids, what happens when my kids sees this content, you know, 10 years from now, how do they feel about it? Yeah. How does that look as a dad? You know, all these things started really to kind of eat me alive. And look, I don't regret any of it, but I'm glad I shifted gears when I did. Because I, you know, I, I kind of needed to for myself, but I needed to for them. And, um, and I mean, that's kind of where it all kind of went different. You're getting older, more experiences, yeah. things are changing. Um, you know, and, and really the, the community is changing as well. Of course you had guys that were like, Hey, you changed my life. Um, but I, I could see where you're like, where can I get more of that? More of that. Um, do you see the active duty and veteran community changing? Like from like when we got out, like the, the post nine yeah. 11 vet bro thing towards the end of the wars, now it's a, I never deployed. Um, it, it seems like the, the taste of the veteran community is, as, is, has changed even since we got out like five years ago. No, for sure. Ago, you know, for sure. I mean, I think we were a part of it and we, and we were probably, um, a big reason for like this kind of bro vet time. You yeah. Know? Um, not necessarily completely proud of that. Sometimes, sometimes it's like, eh, it some, some needed it though. Some, some, needed it. some, no, exactly. some gravitated to it, you know? Right. Yeah. And I think, you know, what's cool now is seeing like back then there wasn't a lot of veteran entrepreneurs. There was, you know, a handful that we could probably mention. And now there's thousands and thousands. And I think it's cool to see that these veterans are starting to realize like, oh, I'm not in this bubble that we, we want to portray ourselves as I can actually do really cool things. And so I think it's moving in a really good space where guys are really starting to see mental health and awareness and, 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 and starting to really do healing and wellness, you know, and those things yeah. that I think are very valuable. I think, we're definitely starting to knock down those walls of the machismo and tough guy. And that doesn't do counseling. And now realizing that like, Hey, we, we all are human. And you can, all- you can still be that, that guy, but still go recognize what's what you need inside. Yeah. I think it's a, it's yeah. a really cool shift that, that needed to happen. I think it, it you almost forced it to happen. You had to, like, yeah. you no, know, you know, we're going to keep having these, these, these sad stories of our brothers and sisters taking their lives unless we start shifting ourselves and our thought process, our mindset. We gotta get them one way or the other. Machine gun. Firefight, bullets fly, they 